Welcome. This is the Jenkins Documentation Special Interest Group. It's Friday, April the 24th. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm going to, excuse, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to share my screen and let's look at the agenda. So what I had was action item review, Google season of docs, status of the solution pages, um, documentation roadmap and projects, and if we have time, data on contributors and contributions. There's no requirement that we, we need to get to that. If that were just to be left in the document, that's fine. Uh, Oleg, on the status of solution pages, is that a topic you want to include in the agenda? I'm not hearing you, Oleg. Okay, uh, what is it better now? It is, yeah. Okay, so it explains <laughs> something. Uh, yeah, so I would like to discuss that for sure. Great, excellent. Okay, um, are there any other topics that need to be added to the agenda? Nothing specific from me. I wanted to discuss contributor guidelines, but it might be better to do it next time uh, because uh, I still uh, plan to finish some items. All right, and it looks like I have to stop my show. Oh, there we go. No, we've got one more addition that we need to add. I had to find the right screen. Sumith is joining us also, and Sladen. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Marky, any topics that you needed to add to the agenda? Nothing other than what's already on there. Okay, great. Excellent, thank you. Okay, then let's let's go ahead with our previous action items. So we had a request to put the docs project ideas in a pull request to Jenkins.io. I think that's done now with between the efforts that Oleg's done ideas that I've put in. We've captured roadmap entries as well. So I'm considering that one done. Anything that needs to be kept on that one, Oleg, that you're aware of? Things that I may have missed? Uh, so I think we could definitely extend to this page, but yeah, I think that we can close it. Great, okay. Mm -hmm. right. And I still owe a doc sig summary. I, tend to drop in on the governance meeting and periodically give summaries there, but I we need a blog post. And yes. so. Uh, yeah, especially since now we have GSOT, et cetera, so we may highlight these activities a bit. Right, exactly. Also maybe a status of uh, plugin documentation migration. Yes. Uh, because yeah, so this is pretty good there. Well, and we've we've now got we've just we're just about to get a new how-to guide for for the participate page, or series of guides, uh, basically more retirement of wiki pages. So there are a lot of a lot of things to uh, to highlight there. That that'll be my my item continued. Mm -hmm. We had one more um, Palm and Bomb developer meetup. Uh, there's been some, we've released Palm 4.0 now. Oleg, is this one we should consider for the near term or rather let it wait? I think we should do that. And uh, I'm not sure whether James Knott and JC uh, are available. If not, I'm ready uh, to do this meetup, maybe together with team. So I will pink uh, James and JC again. I'm just quite busy with other stuff. Right. Well, but but you're right. Tim Jacom would also was also deeply involved in it, and would probably be a great presenter. Mm. Yeah, on me as a plan C. Mm -hmm. Well, and and I think you you would do excellent running it, or I can run it. So, do you want me to draft the uh, uh, draft the proposed text for the meetup? Fine with me. Okay. Great.
Great, okay. Mm -hmm. Then we had one more list the GitHub apps and plugins that use them. I don't recall the, the context here. Could you give us some context, Oleg? Yeah, so it was discussed one or two months ago uh, that uh, we have a number of GitHub uh, apps which help with documentation, for example, release drafter uh, and other bits. Uh, but uh, for plugin developers, it's not clear uh, which apps we offer. And uh, there is a separate uh, problem that we don't have a documented process of how we review apps. This is something which was brought up in the developer mailing list uh, this week or last week. So, yeah, probably, so the list of approved apps, we definitely need to put it somewhere, uh, maybe on infrastructure, maybe on just .github repository. Um, and we also need a documentation like a job, which would document uh, the process of approval. The current process of approval is quite easy. Whoever approves, it's approved. Okay. So, so the because certainly we've we've documented and even mm -hmm. done webinars on release drafter on depend and on dependabot, but this is about what if someone wants to add a new one. Uh, yes. Okay. Got it. All so. Right. I, I guess it uh, becomes less relevant these days because many apps uh, move to the GitHub Actions space. And for GitHub Actions, you don't need special permission uh, to enable something. Uh, but uh, there are still a lot of things which are available through apps only. So yeah, writing a short job wouldn't hurt. Great, okay. Anything else on action items before we go to the next topic? Okay, great. Let's take on Google Season of Docs then. Oleg, you want to take the take the voice there? Okay, mm, yeah, so Google Season of Docs is something we've been discussing for a couple of years um, uh, since it was hinted uh, at the JSOC Mentor Summit. Uh, um, last year we applied to Google Season of Docs, but we haven't uh, been accepted. If you scroll down, uh, there are references uh, to our application and retrospective we had after we were rejected. Um, but uh, this year, initially, we wanted to apply again. Um, and when we started the discussion one month ago or so, uh, we had some struggles to find uh, Orc admin and mentor team, because if we want to run this program, we still need uh, uh, people uh, to manage it doesn't uh, well it comes at cost because you'll still have administrative overhead etc personally i believe that uh, this overhead is well justified if we could uh, uh, get a part-time uh, professional uh, technical writer or just uh, somebody uh, not necessarily a professional um, it would be a great addition uh, to the project and it would help uh, as well to push the documentation. So at the governance meeting on Wednesday, we had a discussion, basically it was a go, no go decision. Uh, and since uh, we had uh, many contributors who stepped up, thanks to Sladen, thanks to Marky and Christian, uh, we agreed that, uh, uh, and to Mark of course, <laughs> so uh, we agreed that we will uh, do a best effort attempt. So I spent a couple of hours on Thursday, I uh, wrote uh, this uh, landing page. I also created uh, an application draft, uh, which is currently ready for review. Um, uh, yep, any feedback will be appreciated because yeah, basically this is what we need. We will also need mentors to register on the JSOT website. I'll send a, um, a link later. Uh, but I think that from the application side, we are all set. And we would benefit from having uh, more ideas. Excellent. So, and the timeline is relatively short on this. The applications must be submitted by May 4th. Uh, yeah, so, applications must be submitted by May 4th, but actually I have already submitted that. So how it works, it's not uh, like a JSOC application website. Instead of that, you just submit a Google form, though you can edit this Google form until the application deadline. 
Uh, so oh. similar uh, to how it was last year, I submitted the form. I also put uh, um, fields uh, here in this application document. Later, I plan to move it uh, to Jenkins IO website, similar to, uh, to what we do with JSOC. Um, but uh, yeah, it contains uh, text, etc. And uh, yeah, Marky, thanks for comments. Uh, I will uh, uh, reply there because yeah. at least. I'm also actively going through and changing uh, some things. So I'm not commenting on what I'm changing. I'm more making things more in a professional document. So if you look at the history of the doc, you'll see the things that I've changed. And if you have any questions about that or concerns, definitely raise them that way. But I'm not commenting on body changes. Most of them are just grammar and... Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, anyway, I consider it as a boilerplate. So before the final application, I submit. I will submit uh, the final version to the uh, Jenkins uh, website as a pull request, and there we can uh, do a trace review. Here, whatever you change, just to do that. That is one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, one thing that uh, the entire application form is plain text, so it's not marked down like JSOC. Mm -hmm. uh, it, well, it's not a big deal, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, um, uh, Google Season of Docs, should it be uh, included in the sub-projects drop-down on Jenkins.io, or is it fine until they're accepted? Uh, I have some concerns about sub-projects uh, drop-down, to be honest. Uh, so when we started that, there were no special special interest groups. So we, it was introduced uh, before, and right now we de facto have sub projects being trained by special interest groups. For example, here we have, uh, if you go to JSOC, sorry, to the documentation seek, that we also have projects listing. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I understand uh, the importance of highlighting some top-level projects there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't put any sub-project uh, to this page and uh, maybe I would consider removing things entirely because the blue ocean is so nice, evergreen is even yeah, deep freeze, I would say. Uh, yeah, GSOC is running infrastructure. Infrastructure can, could be just converted uh, to a seek. Uh, CICD array meetups are a part of advocacy, configuration as code uh, is potentially a part of platform uh, or cloud uh, currently a part of cloud native and remote. And it's a good question what it is, but yeah, we could deal with it. So yeah. I don't see much future for sub projects uh, tab here unless it helps us to facilitate contributions to this area. And right now it doesn't. Well, or okay. or if sub projects should actually be renamed special interest groups and get this list instead, right? Because yeah. Yeah. we have sub projects is is a dated a dated menu now and a sort of outdated mm -hmm. menu. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we we can just uh, squash them, and we could use community tab for something else, like yeah. uh, put uh, Jenkins online meetup here. Well, we could remove uh, Wiki. I have no idea what account management is doing here, but yeah. So it's a, su a subject for the work uh, later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Sounds cool. Thank Good you. questions, Leiden. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Anything else on Google Season of Docs or any questions for Oleg on Google, Google Season of Docs? I think that's. I think I'm good. I mean, now, oh, go ahead, Slayton. No, no, I was just saying, it, 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 for me, the landing page also yesterday, I mean, I had some suggestions, but yeah, it, uh, it looks good to go as is. Great. Now, so with, with just, Google, oh, go ahead. So like, go ahead. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, uh, just submit a yeah, yeah. request. So just to explain why I merged it without fully closing suggestions. Uh, firstly, because you approved it. Uh, secondly, because I wanted to have something in place so that we could facilitate uh, contributions by others. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Whole, right. Wholehearted yeah. agreement on that. That was that's. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so it doesn't mean that uh, this means feedback. You just submit a pull request and we can review it incrementally. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Okay. So anything else? Yeah, we need uh, more project ideas. Uh, well, uh, theoretically. Uh, and we need uh, more potential mentors. So if anyone is interested to participate or if someone has an idea what specifically we could change, because currently we have three pretty broad project ideas, uh, just uh, submit uh, proposals. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, shall we take on solution pages? This is a this is a fun one. I'm going to show something that is really a thing of beauty. Actually, I I love what Jubinek Konechny did with this page. Go ahead, Oleg. Me? Okay. So yeah, firstly, uh, thanks to Zbigniew to uh, for the work on this page. Uh, just to provide some history, solution pages have been introduced as a part of uh, Jenkins 2.0 website. So when we create Jenkins I/O. In, as a replacement for the previous website. Um, historically, they didn't have a listing of use cases at all. I added it maybe three or four months ago, just because I wanted uh, to remove solution pages from the menu. And right now, instead of solution pages, we, oh, we still have that, but yeah, I wanted to remove it. Uh, so why I wanted to remove it uh, is because uh, the layout is currently really cool, thanks to Zbigniew. Uh, but uh, if you start navigating to content, you may see that all these pages are basically dated. And some are, yeah, some are just terribly dated. Uh, also, uh, formatting is pretty bad, etc. And I would argue that the most of these pages need a complete rewrite. Um, and it is especially terrible that we have so so we have so bad pages we have a lot of content uh, there is a lot of articles for example about uh, using jenkins with docker uh, using jenkins with github uh, etc but uh, we haven't been maintaining these pages uh, yeah so but, uh, some pages look uh, slightly better some just have no content obviously we are missing some key use cases for example, Jenkins on Kubernetes, there is no solution page for that. Uh, Jenkins on GitLab, there is no solution page for that, and so on and so on. We have expertise, we could create them, um, or we could just put links to existing content. Um, so uh, there could be a lot of completion of work done to just completely rewrite uh, these pages. I was thinking that it was, could be a good uh, project for Google Season of Dogs or maybe a good set of newbie-friendly issues for Jenkins' website. Um, and yeah, my proposal would be to consider adding it uh, to roadmap as a future item and uh, creating the other framework around that, like listing uh, the work of that on the seed page and creating issues for that. Yeah, uh, as an example, the we have Three, three pages here which have tutorials already in our documentation, but no link from the use case to the tutorial. <laughs> and so there are lots of things we can do to improve these, this, these themes. We have mm -hmm. stories from users that are arriving now on other, other locations, and they are stories typically about one of these use cases that could be linked in here. So, so mm -hmm. lots of opportunities to improve. <laughs> yeah. And yes, immediate item, I would uh, rather remove it uh, from the menu because our current situation is that uh, we have almost no links to documentation. So if you click on the documentation menu, there is just a link to use Jenkins. You open that and basically you stuck in another page which doesn't really provide your navigation. Uh, so I would rather kill use cases or just uh, keep it as a single link instead mm -hmm. of that expand uh, use Jenkins to something like user guide, documentation guide, administration guide, uh, maybe installing Jenkins. And, and uh, I think it would be more helpful for those who seek documentation. Because right now, uh, to be honest, I look for Jenkins documentation in Google. Right. Yeah. The, the agreed. Uh, in at the moment, this this page that I'm showing is not even accessible from the man menus. 
if I click, if I go to the blog, for instance, and then I click documentation use cases, it doesn't navigate. So, so we've got a page that is a beautiful thing that we're not actually showing that we don't have anywhere in the navigation. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah. abundant things to improve. Okay, I'll probably just follow a pull request and for solution pages. So if somebody is interested to take action items, maybe to just create issues or to write something. So for example, Mark is a maintainer of GitLab plugin and some Kubernetes plugins. So it, it could be one of the options to at least create a skeleton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also one, sorry, one potential opportunity. Right now we have a hard coded list of plugins on this page. Maybe we could just uh, drop into it entirely and instead of that uh, provide a label query to the plugin website because we added support yeah. for queries uh, and uh, manually maintaining a list of plugins on solution pages for me it looks like a waste of time. So uh, now I'm not sure I'm understanding that you say a list of plugins okay, on a... Uh, for example, uh, please click on Java. Java, okay. Okay, so we have six plugins uh, listed for Java. Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Actually, the list is quite high and it's pretty much for everything else. So for me, there would be two ways. First way is to just provide a hyperlink to the plugin site to a label search. Another option would be to provide iframe or whatever. So we again provide information generated by the static plugin site on this page. Mm. But maintaining the list of plugins in just another case for me is just a waste of time and it will be always obsolete. And so this list is actually maintained inside the, the page that yes. describes this. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, so that, it's not maintained inside. This right, page. right. It's it is orphaned inside. Very good. Yeah, your your yeah. use of precise verbs is a good help here. It is orphaned and inside that that file as a list. Exactly. So just uh, kill this information. Uh, replace by a plugin site link for now. And in the future, have an automated generation of such information because we could use it uh, on other pages as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, definitely not as a manager maintained content. Yeah, so, so the idea is... To be supplied uh, by the webs, uh, by the plugin site. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Actually, we could do it uh, at the build time because, for example, if this list is rebuilt every time we build uh, the uh, Jenkins IO website, it should be acceptable because we built a Jenkins IO quite often thanks to continuous delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe the first solution would be to just uh, query update center and generate the list. So we all already query update center when we built the Jenkins website which causes a lot of problems when updates uh, site is down, but uh, at least we could uh, use the same approach here. Right, it, it, would, it does not make it any worse that we are dependent on the update center. And in fact, our users are dependent on update center. So that seems very reasonable. Okay, good. Mm, maybe, but yeah. So yeah, if somebody is interested to spend some time, you could definitely improve for these pages just by uh, such things. Now on the on the solutions page, Oleg, there when I as I was looking at it, I saw what I might call themes here that there are SCM systems, Bitbucket, GitHub, and you noted GitLab, and for me, Giddy. Uh, there are languages like C and C plus plus, Python, Java, PHP. Mm -hmm. And then there were platforms like Android and Docker. Do we need a thematic orientation here? Or is, is I mean, the flip side is people coming here see this and probably immediately see the thing they want or they don't. And it's, there's no need well, for further categorization. Um, uh, it depends on how many solution pages you have. Because right now it's not a problem. Uh, but we have just uh, 11 solution pages. If we had, let's say, 100, 200, 
which uh, represents uh, the skill of uh, the Jenkins project and support it, and definitely we would benefit from some particular relation. Uh, so I would prefer to solve this problem once we get there. And once we get into this problem, I will be extremely happy. Uh, but yeah, and then my solution would be to just uh, add additional field for categorization and maybe write some JavaScript, which would allow filtering them. Because it's still uh, great to have this grid of uh, technologies, which are just started by Alphabet. But uh, then if we provide some uh, support for filtering them, it would be awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amazing. And my JavaScript uh, skills are enough to do that. So I believe that it's not a big uh, deal. I do like the idea of getting the Kubernetes uh, piece in there and linking. I think that would be a, a huge hit. Yeah, we have uh, this in the JSPOT project idea. And yeah, I wanted to, to create this page anyway. Uh, but so okay, if somebody wants uh, to contribute, uh, let's just do that. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else on solution pages? My action item is to create a pull request to make this effort a bit more official. Mm -hmm. Assuming that uh, uh, we agree that it's something we want to do. Next topic then, roadmap. Or anything else on solution pages before we go on to roadmap? Nothing for me. Okay, so here is a thing of beauty. Thanks deeply to Oleg for this, this effort. Here is the documentation segment. It's only a piece of the total documentation contribution to the Jenkins project, but here's a view of the documentation roadmap. From left to right, it is current, near term. Let's see, headings are released, current, near term, and future. And mm -hmm. so static plugin site continues to get improvements, but is fully deployed and ready to go. Um, we are about 350 plugins now migrated their documentation to GitHub. So that's in good progress. And we've, we've got some progress on the documentation migration to Jenkins.io and project ideas to further that. Mm -hmm. Then in the future, Jenkins on Kubernetes, admit, extract the administrator guide from the Jenkins handbook, improve the user guide portions of it, and solution pages. Mm -hmm. Oh, solution pages are already here. Okay. Yeah, these they were put there when I did the when I did the the PR to put the um, mm -hmm. solution pages on the on the docs page. No, okay, thank you. And then because we I also thought, uh, yeah, it's still uh, yet to be done uh, for GSOT, but it's great that it's already in the roadmap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I felt like. This is this the work that Jubinek had done is such a catalyst for us that what it what this is talking about is the story about how do we how do we improve that even further and so we've mm -hmm. got a we've got a Jira ticket to to represent it as an epic. One question: uh, Do you want to use Jira or maybe should we use GitHub uh, issues and GitHub projects oh, for that? Oh, that's a very good idea because GitHub issues are enabled on Jenkins.io. We could use, we could keep it entirely centered on the Jenkins.io repository. Yeah. Look into that. Much easier to manage on GitHub because since half, like almost everything for Jenkins.io already happens via GitHub much. Easily, so it's and plus we have the copy editor scheme and all of the pull request mechanism that make much sense to have all of the issues also there. Right, good point. So what if we put an action on Mark propose uh, Mark 
let's see, propose the shift of docs projects slash epics to GitHub issues. Because right now there are a number of them that are on GitHub or on Jira, but let's use GitHub issues. Yeah, so, and the, the docs feedback form actually has already switched to GitHub issues, Oleg, or at least maybe, maybe I should say it differently. There is a feedback form, but there is also improve this page, which takes me right there. And then there is report a problem, which opens up a GitHub issues page. What we don't have is the, let's see, the one that was feedback on this page, and it's not visible on this on this particular page, but that one adds an entry to a Google form. I think that's what you're alluding to, right, Oleg, here on the, the docs feedback form topic. Oh, you just muted. Oleg, I'm muted. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, so um, all the documentation there uh, uh, provide a feedback form, but this feedback form uh, goes uh, to whatever Google feedback form. To be honest, I still have no idea what is the link and whether I can access that. I believe you that uh, can. Okay, then I just don't. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe we could just uh, switch to GitHub issues. So the only problem with that is that. Uh, yeah, it requires a GitHub account uh, to report an issue. On the other hand, Google Forms, for example, is not accessible from China. So I'm, I'm not sure what exactly would be better. Maybe we should keep both ways, but I think that we should recommend uh, GitHub issues by default. Mm -hmm. I, I like that idea. Um, it gives us a, a tracking workflow. Today, what we have to do is I end up every week or so opening up the docs feedback details sheet like this and i'll just embed this link because it's a publicly readable sheet and i check the latest feedback and that latest feedback is usually i have to think very hard about it before it becomes actionable so so let's i'm going to link to the feedback form here well, maybe we could do some automation so that uh, even uh, this form somehow uh, ends up on GitHub issues. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that it would be easier to just uh, provide uh, users a way to report something. Right. And actually, we get quite a lot of feedback. Oh, yeah. This is this is multiple years worth of feedback that's collected here. And yeah, so... I just uh, look uh, at the date, and mm -hmm. all the date is quite recent. Oh yes, and, and we, I regularly, that's why I regularly look. So for instance, you'll see this one right here that is the wrong public key. This was absolutely related to current change, to recent changes on our packaging, right? So this is somebody reporting, hey, the public key instructions for installation on Red Hat didn't work or on Fedora, and they were correct. And it was a reminder to me, keep searching that. So it, this has been helpful. Yeah. It's also, yeah, oh, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. I think that in principle, it would be much more convenient if it's on GitHub issues, because firstly, it becomes publicly visible. Uh, then we can just uh, put a newbie friendly label uh, in some cases, so that somebody fixes that eventually. Uh, then we can also add uh, to Epics, we can just suggest uh, the feedback provider to submit a pull request, uh, which is, relevant sometimes um, so uh, from a facilitating contribution standpoint uh, github issues is uh, much much better uh, from a uh, report of user experience um, it's up to discussion uh, but uh, again github issues provides a two-way communication channel while google form is basically we just submit feedback and forget exactly Now, one of the challenges with uh, that we still need to solve in the in the connecting to GitHub issues 
currently the GitHub issues connection or the improve this page link is this is not connected to the um, specific contribution location for things like pipeline syntax where they are being assembled from multiple places. Yeah, so for that, uh, maybe we're willing it uh, to update the logic a bit. Right. I was thinking about the same for roadmap uh, and for uh, other items, because for roadmap, it's exactly the same. You can uh, click improve this page, but you uh, get a lose your HAML, which uh -huh. basically doesn't include anything specific to roadmap. And the most of contributions are likely to come uh, to the roadmap content. Uh, and yeah, it's a key it's for almost any uh, auto-generated page, like let's say a JSOC project ideas listing. Again, uh, improve this page, it doesn't help much there. Well, and, and the, uh, let's see, the one that I was thinking of was the... Uh, weekly change log. Yes, LCS the change, change logs, log. right? So exactly. to make a correction to change log, improve this mm -hmm. page won't help. Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking about adding some metadata, which would uh, alter the behavior of uh, improve this page macro, and maybe report this problem macro as well, so that uh, they point to the right location when feedback is submitted. Yeah. But uh, there is uh, a difference between thinking about something and submitting a GitHub issue for that. So it's on me. But uh, yeah, I think that in principle, it's something we should support. Uh, obviously, for pipeline steps and in the future for system properties, we will need a better engine to make it useful. Uh, for pipeline, it's actually even more challenging because documentation effectively comes from Javadoc. Right. And, uh, yeah. and from help pages. So you would need to link it somewhere to another repository. Yeah. I have no idea how to do it reliably. Uh, it, it's as you said there's at minimum some metadata has to be provided somewhere some additional information has to be provided to to connect those great yeah so maybe improve this uh, patient size case should be a reference uh, <laughs> to whatever contributing guide it's better than just uh, opening front page mm -hmm. although let me take i think you highlighted one that i i should hang my head in shame on that there should have been a GitHub issue reporting the improve this page because that would at least let us know, oh, improve this page needs to be improved. But uh, there is a report the problem for that. Oh, is there already? I uh, yes, so, there, issue. so if you open uh, uh, any page, there are two buttons. Mm -hmm. One button is uh, improve this page, uh, which is basically um, opens uh, GitHub editor. Right. Another one is uh, report the problem, which opens uh, a GitHub issue. So I have an action item to connect this button to an issue template, so it provides a bit better look and feel. Uh, but in principle, one uh, button uh, opens editor, another button uh, creates GitHub issue, and it was created by Tim Jackham. Before that, uh, there was page history, uh, which is less relevant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so yeah, I believe that uh, we already have buttons in place. The problem well, is with their behavior. Yeah, what I was trying to say is that mm -hmm. while we have the buttons, while we have the links ready there, what we don't have is that if I navigate to pipeline syntax and click report, report a problem or improve this page, it will end up creating that in the wrong context or on it on the roadmap. If I if I go to roadmap yeah. and click report a problem will it will it get certainly as you said if i go here and improve this page it will take me to a haml file right exactly. which is is not going to is not the thing i probably wanted to edit when i was trying to improve the roadmap mm -hmm. yeah so but yeah it's uh, something which can be fixed quickly mm. okay. if you are an experienced haml developer uh, but uh, yeah so I was thinking about that, and it's not the first year uh, which uh, when I hit this problem, but I have never reported an issue for that. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have some bandwidth to create these issues, it's fine. It's if just I have one I had, 
I had noticed and not submitted. And it's like, I should submit issues when I notice them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But we yeah, are, I think that, oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think that in general, we're in agreement that uh, GitHub issues is something useful for the plugin side. Sorry for Jenkins mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, agreed wholeheartedly. Great. Mm -hmm. Now we are nearing the end of our time. Are there other topics that need to be addressed? in this meeting. I'll just leave the data in the in without doing a review during this meeting. Okay. Just All right. I think we're at a point where we can call a, an end to the session. Thanks very much everyone for for joining. Looking forward to our progress on Google season of docs and more. Yeah. Thank you everybody. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Cheers.